We are looking at a portrait by Hyacinth Rigo, one of the most important portrait painters in France during the 17th and 18th centuries. This particular portrait is of a French master of requests, a person of nobility holding judicial power. Though the sitter himself is anonymous and his face not overly expressive, Rigo conveys character and movement through the sitter's gesture and clothing. The master of requests' right hand rests upon a book, with a finger holding his place as if we've caught him in the middle of reading. This suggests to the viewer that the master is well-read and wise. His opposite hand reaches out, its complicated form not only showing Rigo's expertise as an artist, but coming from the world of formal dance and the world of the court, the gesture emphasizes the master's elegance and authority. The master's character is reiterated by his lavish clothing and setting. In the 1700s, fabrics used for home furnishing and personal dress indicated social rank. Only the wealthiest could afford silk, velvet, or satin. Rigo's masterful use of light accentuates the rich texture of these fabrics, from the master's robes to the heavy velvet curtain behind him. So too does the master's flowing wig signify wealth, as it took time and money to maintain these wigs. Rigo further hints at the master's social rank through the ornately carved armrest beneath his left hand and by the shelf of books above his right shoulder. He sits comfortably in a personal study. Because Rigo so masterfully portrayed individuals of social importance, he grew in popularity and was commissioned for over a thousand portraits in his lifetime. We have a record of these portraits because Rigo documented in detail whom he painted, in what year, and how much he was paid, even noting whether the costume in the portrait was repeated or original. Rigo even gained King Louis XIV's respect and is perhaps most famous for painting his portrait in 1701, which the king hung in the throne room. <laughs>